Well, hello everybody and welcome to day 26 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well. If uh, yesterday you were excited about making a scrunchie, I think today you'll be very, very excited because we're making a full blanket. So once again, go over to your fabric store and grab some blanket fabric. I got this really pretty green fabric and it's textured. Um, I did spend, <laughs> I spent a lot on it. Um, I splurged a little. For four meters, it cost me $80. So it wasn't the cheapest fabric, but I really just fell in love with it. I love green and just this texture. This texture is really, really pretty. Um, you don't have to spend that much. Like that was a crazy amount. Who would spend $80 on a blanket? I guess me, but yeah. So I got four meters. You don't need that much. Um, I just wanted a really big blanket. And yeah, uh, sh the lady cut it in two. So two meters, two meters, just because like there was some problem with the fabric or else I would have gone like four continuous meters, but that's all right. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, I know I'm a little chic, but it's because all my sweatpants are in the wash and this dress is just really comfortable and warm. So that's why, just don't judge the fit. I know I have socks on, but yeah, okay. We're here for the blankie, not for the fit. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is pre-wash your fabric. So I put mine in the washer and dryer for one hour and that's just to prevent shrinking because I didn't want it to shrink after I sewed it. Now, as you can see, it's a little crooked right here. It wasn't cut very well at the store, but that's fine. We're gonna fix that on the other side either. Um, what I'm gonna do is just place the other side of my fabric, right side facing down, and this one is right side facing up. So like both right sides are gonna be touching, which is what you want. And then I'm just gonna trim off like the excess. But I'm only gonna cut like this. Oh. I'm only gonna cut like this. I don't wanna cut the salvage because that edge is obviously straight. It's salvage. So yeah, let's do it. Also forgot to mention, but obviously press your fabric if it um, wrinkles. Mine doesn't, thankfully. I got some new pants. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? Pins. So yes, we are saying bye-bye to the little cigars and hello to Classe. So this is a lot because there's a lot, a lot of fabric, but it's fine. Don't get overwhelmed. I'm just gonna start by pinning the salvage here. Well, not start, because I started with this, but that's what I'm doing now. As I'm pinning, I'm not stretching out the fabric. I'm just laying it flat and letting it do its thing. As you can see, there's quite a little bit of extra, so we're gonna have to trim that off. Okay, so the part that's gonna take the longest, as you probably saw, is just getting all the bumps out. Um, so make sure you take time doing that, but like it's never gonna be 100% flat and that's okay. Um, now the next step is just to take a pair of scissors or your rotary cutter and like trim off the excess. Just make a straight line. I'm gonna get some chalk and draw out um, a line to make sure I cut straight. It doesn't have to be like the most straight line ever. It's just a blanket, um, but I do think it's gonna help me. So let's do that. Well, screw that. Um, <laughs> my chalk doesn't appear. So I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, so we've got a pretty, pretty straight line. Let's do the same thing on the other side and make sure um, if the bottom layer is the one that's shorter than the top, make sure that you actually like cut um, both layers and you don't skip a part of it. So like here, my second layer ends here. So I gotta cut like more. Let's just see. Okay. So, okay. I'm gonna stop before this pin right here. So around here. There we go. I think that's a pretty straight line. We lost a little bit of blanket, but that's fine. Now, since they're already right sides together, all that's left to do is just pin around this edge right here and the other one on the other side. So the first thing you're gonna do is get some matching thread and we are going to wind our bobbin. 
And since this is a really thick fabric, I'm going to put my stitch length higher and I'm thinking a 3.5. So right here, I have my double pins and I have my other two double pins right here and I'm going to start um, at these ones. And like I said, I'm sewing using a half inch seam allowance. Start sewing and then back tack. And then keep going. Once you get to a corner, uh, once again, you're just gonna lift off your presser foot and then pivot your fabric. Once you get to your double pins, you can just back tack a couple of times. Cut your thread and just, just take all of those out. Make sure you take all the pins out. Um, you may have forgotten some and you really don't want to get poked um, with them after you turn it right side out and then sew it again because it's going to be very hard to take out. So yeah, just make sure all the pins are out. Um, I'm actually going to serge all of my raw edges just because I want my blanket to last a long time. Um, you could do just a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger or um, you could just completely skip this step. I'm starting um, at the beginning where my first two pins were. So here I have my opening. Make sure you don't um, sew that opening shut. So start here and end here, um, right here. So um, when I reach a corner, I just um, stop sewing and trim off my thread and then I start over and I'm almost at my opening. So just don't forget to stop sewing it around here. Okay, perfect. Now you're gonna take the opening and pull the fabric right side out. So try to find the corners and just push them out so that they, so that they look like corners. So that's a pretty good corner like this. So now you're going to press your fabric just so like um the edges stay in place for now because we're going to be sewing a um, border all around. So pressing right now is just going to help that sewing process. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just sew that opening closed. So just fold it on itself and then bring it over here. Once again, I would use a longer stitch length. I'm sticking to 3.5. I'm sewing really close to the edge at about one eighth of an inch. Back stitch at the end as well. And there you go, pretty seamless. Now the next step is to sew a border all along the um, blanket. So um, I decided to use a border of one inch. That's gonna look nice. So I'm just gonna do that all over. Top stitch, oh, I mean back stitch, silly me. When you get to a corner, just do what you usually do which is just that. And then make sure that it's actually the right amount and it is so I can keep it so. And there we go, guys. Uh, this is what my corners look like. This is the border, the one inch border. I think it turned out amazing. I hope yours turned out all good too. This is the back. The back is pretty as well. Yeah, well, 
Well done to you. <laughs> and well done to me. Well, I guess this is what happens when you sew a blanket and you wear velvet. Whoops. But good news is our blanket is done. I can't believe it. it. This took a long, long time to make, but at least like the sewing part was easy. It was always like sewing in a straight line. It's just really time consuming. Very <laughs> time consuming. But I love how it turned out. And I hope that yours turned out well too. Um, this little thing helped so much um, to make sure that my, uh, my border was always one inch exactly. Um, so I do suggest getting one. Uh, I got it today actually, and it was only $2.99. So I highly suggest it. And I mean, your homework really is just to do the blanket. So if you followed along the video, you should be done. I uh, don't need to make like a million. Just make the one, or you can make more if you want. You do what you want, right? Anyway, um, we're done and I will see you tomorrow.